Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mazatrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mazatrol. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the tools manually without the aid of the tool presetter. This is sometimes necessary if you have a part of the machine and the tool arm will not clear the part or the jaws. Normally you would set all the tools you need for a particular job up front. However, there are times when something is not working as expected and you need to switch to another type of tool not mounted in the machine. Let's face it, taking the part out of the machine midway through cutting it just to set one tool is not a desirable option. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do when we set a tool is we got to install it into the machine. For this example, I'm going to use an OD turning tool, which it's already put in the machine, but we need to put the tool data in, and we're going to reset tool number four. So the first thing you need to do is describe the tool. In this case, it's a general out with a 32 thousandths radius insert and we're going to run in the MO4 direction and it's a left-handed tool. 95, 80 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out the geometry of the tool and the wear. So now what we need to do is come over to the part and set the diameter. We can either turn the diameter and then measure it, or if this, in this case, this diameter is already turned to a two inch diameter, so we can set it using a dowel pin. So what we do is come down Put the dowel pin between the work piece and the part, and then crank X in the positive direction until the dowel pin slips under the tool. So the dowel pin is a half inch in diameter, so that means it's one inch. We have to add one inch to the diameter of whatever our work piece is. So right now, on tool four, the machine thinks the tool is at a minus five inches and we need to set that tool. So come over here to the left button, go to tool set, arrow down to tool four where we cleared it out, and what we're gonna do is teach it. So push teach, and we're gonna teach it, the, the diameter that I'm setting it on is a two inch diameter, plus we're gonna compensate for one inch half inch per side on this half inch dowel pin. So we're gonna teach it at a three inch diameter. So teach three input. Now if we go back to the tool set screen, the position screen, now that tool is at three inches. So the next thing we need to do is teach the Z. And the Z gets a little trickier. So what we need to do, bring the tool down to the face of the part. And we're gonna use the half inch dowel pin using the same method. So once we get it where it would just slip through, Now 
All right, just slipped through. So now we're a half inch in front of our part. However, we can't just type in a half inch on here. If we go teach 0.5, it'll give us a number, but it's not a half inch in front of the part. So we did something wrong. So what we need to do is compensate for, go to the program, program file. We need to compensate and add this number the Z offset of the program we're currently in, 0.9177 to the half inch. So that would be 1.4177. So if we go to the tool set, down to four, teach, 1.4177 input. Now go to the position screen. Now we're a half inch in front of our Z because we set it off of a half inch dowel pin. So now when we go to the trace screen, there's our part and there's our tool sitting a half inch in front of the, in front of the work. Anyway, the biggest thing to remember, uh, setting X, arrow down to the tool, you can take a cut on the OD of the part mic it and enter that diameter directly but on the z you need to compensate and add whatever is here on the z offset screen for your part if you're touching it on the z zero face and then after you do it go back to the position screen and the position screen will tell you if you did it correctly or not if the position screen shows a different number than what you expected then you have to redo your steps. And that's how to set tools without using the tool probe. If you like what you see, go ahead and push the subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Thanks for watching.